This is a story about an ordinary teddy bear. When he was made, they found something wrong with him and threw him away like a piece of rubbish into an old dark storeroom. Then, from outer space, a spotty man brought him to life with his cosmic dust. He took him to a magic cloud where Mother Nature gave him special powers. That bear became Super Ted. Floating in the vast desolation of space is a cloud. Glowing gently with a strange light, it fills the cold emptiness of the heavens with its own magic warmth. This is the home of Mother Nature. By getting the marble over the weather, wish I could forget the weather all together. Let me see, let me see. I think there's a certain place on the planet Earth that deserves a little sunshine. <laughs> there. And on the planet Earth, the sun appeared from behind a cloud. I'm a bit worried about all this sunshine, Spotty. Some parts of the world need a lot of rain. But I'm sure Mother Nature knows what she's doing, Super Dead. All the same, I'm going to take a look at Africa on the video monitor. Meanwhile, Deep in space. Here, I told you it wouldn't be that difficult to find Mother Nature. After all, that cloud is the biggest source of energy in the galaxy. What are we going to do then, Tex? We take over, control the weather on every planet. We'll have earthquakes, floods. <laughs> oh, Tex, you're so nosy. And I'll force that grey-haired old goofball to mix me a magic potion. Just like the one she gave to Super Ted. I like it! I like it! <laughs> Don't struggle, lady. Or we'll plunge a few worlds into chaos. Great! Just like this! Oh! <laughs> gooseberries! I don't believe it! What does Mother Nature think she's doing? Ah, oh, Spotty! <laughs> oh, oh, no! You think you'll get away with this because you won't, you big bully? As soon as he hears about this, Super Ted will be here. Mark my word. Ah, shut up, you old windbag. I'll take care of that Super Ted. Just you watch. Aha! Uh -huh. Look outside, Spotty. The weather's going crazy. But never mind the weather. But what about my spots? We'd better go and see what's wrong with Mother Nature. I'll say my magic word. Okay, Spotty, take your rocket. But it's terribly windy out there. Come on, Spotty. Are you all right, Super Ted? Yes, but hurry, Spotty. We must get to your rocket. Look, look out! Oh, oh. Ah, help! Oh. Ah. Uh. How do you feel, Spotty? Oh. But how, but how would you feel if you had stripes and a tree fell on you? Well, I'd feel I had to find out what was going on. And quickly. Come on, Spotty. Come on, lady. Hurry up or I'll do some permanent damage. I might be a lot quicker if you were more polite. <laughs> Great game, it is. <laughs> Here. What's that rocket? I think Mother Nature must be in terrible trouble, Spotty. And we'll, we'll soon be there. Hey, Super Ted. How'd you like a few meteorites? <laughs> oh, no! A meteorite, 
storm back. Oh, that's just what we need. Hold tight, Spotty. Look, look, look out. Great moons of Spot. We're going to crash into that cloud. Ah! Ah! Okay, come on out, Super Ted. Your time's up. Don't worry, Tex. Get out of my way, you fat fool. Don't push, don't push. Take me back, you big baby. <laughs> okay, Super Ted, you win. I give in. Just don't hurt me. All right. Forger, don't come any closer, for Super Ted. Or I'll wreak havoc on the universe. You devil! Come on, Grandma! Give me the push. No, Mother Nature, don't do it! I haven't any choice, Super Ted, but I'm sorry, Super Ted. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Hold your breath and count to a thousand, Tex. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I seem to have got my potions mixed up again. <laughs> and so much later. Try drinking water from the wrong side of the glass. Stand on your head and I'll frighten you. 